What did it feel like to know or to hear some of the things that were being said about this movement in the early days following the loss of George Floyd? It makes me very angry because people have been fighting for this for a long time. Kendrick and his organization, Build Power, have been on the front lines of the Black Lives Matter protests. In fact, in this split screen, you can see him facing off with police on CNN as he live streamed the chaotic scene on Instagram. Hey, 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 watch out. Hey, 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 hey. I'm not condemning anybody's protests, right? Ours was a peaceful protest just by fact until the police came and were aggressive, right? You experienced it. Many thousands of people in the streets experienced that. It was traumatic. The tear gas, the rubber bullets. They started it. Kendrick says he was hit seven times by rubber bullets while protesting. I feel like there is hope. There is it, it, we're moving in the right direction. We're at a historic moment. It is a tipping point where people are not willing to go back to what we had. Kendrick credits celebrities like his insecure co-star Issa Rae, Zendaya, and Tessa Thompson for also using their voices for change. Selena Gomez gave him and other activists the chance to speak directly to her fans through her Instagram page. Selena Gomez is like, you know what? I have almost 200 million followers. I'm literally just going to let them take over. I was like, I'll take it. Kendrick's new movie, Miss Juneteenth, is also helping to move the needle forward. It follows her former beauty pageant queen and single mom as she prepares her teenage daughter for the Miss Juneteenth pageant. Miss Juneteenth? Yeah. Tell me about this. It's a beautiful story that gives a, a bit of context with what Juneteenth is. It focuses on the culture that was built around it. I'm gonna make sure that she's something that we ain't. Juneteenth gets turned out. So when this movie came along, I was like, hell yeah. 